In today's episode of The Cheesiest Man Alive, we will be playing the Apex Cheese. There is no cheese greater than this. It has everything. Marines, SCVs, hidden barracks, and a brilliant mind game to boot. We're warming up by fighting a Zerg player that is around rank 25 on the Grandmaster ladder with 6k MMR. And we end today's episode with Trigger, the current rank 11 in Grandmaster. Can this brilliant cheese make up for my incompetence as a person and a Terran? Find out in today's Cheesiest Man Alive. All right, we're starting against a Zerg player. I think this is going to be 6k or so. And what we're going to do here is we're going to be playing a fake... Well, it's a real 4x proxy, but with a fake barracks at home. And this is going to be the build of the... It's, this is a build order that I've kind of semi-stolen from uh, Raza, Razorblader. He played something along those lines against Protoss. I can't recall if he actually proxied the barracks or if he just had all barracks in his own main base. But basically the plan here is, is to pretend that it is fairly normal. So I have a barracks at home. I'm going to just build a marine from it. That is actually kind of important. And then I sent this SCV back home. And with this marine, I'm going to deny my opponent scouting. We're going to save up a lot of marines in this particular area and then hopefully not get scouted in the middle of the map. And that is that's really as far as the plan is going to go. Like, I, this is it, you know? It's now or never. And let's see if I can find something here. Is there an observer here? Hello, Mr. Observer. Where are you now? Ooh. All right, observer. Uh, what do you call these guys? Overlord. I actually think I can get this, can't I? So I might think that I'm an idiot here, that I'm just opening up with two marines to snipe the overlord. And then hopefully, if I get this and he doesn't see the lack of a command center in my natural, that would be freaking huge, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh, this is so nice. I am slightly supply blocked though, because I'm an idiot. And now we're just gonna kind of stand over here and try to deny scouting, because there's going to be a link scout at some point, And that's the only thing I wanna really deny. And when is that Link Scout going to be? I don't quite know. These are the most exciting builds. Like this is, this is old school cheese. You know, not that no, no technical ability is required for this. Like, well, why is this guy just standing here like an idiot? I don't think that's something I asked for. Oh, okay, it's important he doesn't end up seeing my command center, or well, the lack of my command center. I think this is a pretty, uh, pretty perfect time to actually go across the map and, you know, make a move. I think this is the per this is the perfect opportunity actually to start making a move. I don't want to get spotted by anything. Um, what is this? Oh, I have all the the barracks as well. I think he has a third base on the way, right? Is it here? Like he has to be building something, surely. Like spines. If he is not aware, I think he's super dead. I think he's super dead if he's not aware. Okay, here we go. Like no spine, nothing. Here we go. Is he on the low ground? He's on the low ground with two queens. I don't think he was aware right until this moment. I don't think he was aware right until this moment. This is huge. This is freaking huge. I'm just gonna A move here. Hold position. Holy crap, Zerk is broken. Wait, am I winning? Wait, let me let me hold off with the screaming that Zerk is broken until I have actually lost this game. Okay, here we go. Continuing. Continuing, 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 continuing. <laughs> oh, look at this guy. A greedy little prick. Loses his first overlord. Loses the links to three marines on the low ground. And what does he do? Huh? Look at this. Is, this is the problem with Zerg players. They don't think they need... Conver co uh, they don't need scouting. They don't need information. 29 workers. Three bases. Mate. I was a one. I had 16 workers. You had double my workers and triple the bases. Ooh. I don't know what this guy's MMR actually was. Just, oh, it was 6k. Ah, this is a beautiful little plus 37 here that I have received from uh, my, my good friend, the barcode opponent. And I think this is the build that we're going to be perfecting throughout the day today. So let's get it. All right, we got Buffalo Slice over here. <clears throat> And I think this build, this build is technically built for, this build is technically built. This build has been created, I think, for TVP. Like I said, by uh, by Razorblader, Raza, a British Terran player, fantastic Terran player, may I add as well. And um, in, in, in TVP, it is way stronger than in TVZ. I don't think it's actually supposed to work in TVZ. I think it's a lot more map dependent in that matchup as well. But in TVP, 
th there is something beautiful about it because you can full wall off the main base now and then you just pretend like you're playing a, a two gas opener which is actually a honestly a fairly standard opener in this matchup do need to make sure that i don't get caught out here in in, in some way shape or form yeah, second barracks i also wonder when i'm supposed to actually build my full wall with the depot here let's just do i do i believe i can get away with one more barracks i believe i believe i truly believe okay One, two, three, take your head and come with me because you look so fine and I really want to make you mine. Okay, this looks very good. Okay, here we go. Just gonna work on this one, no worries my friend. Do gotta make sure that I end up popping out on the inside. That is a little bit embarrassing. Actually, I'll just go for a, a scout. So Protoss players have no clue what what's a regular, you know, timing to scout. After barracks, I think for a Protoss brain that makes some sense. They look at that and they, and they and they tell themselves, yeah, after barracks, of course, why not? After barracks, that sounds great actually. Let them go scout after barracks. And I also think this really sells the, you know, the uh, the illusion that I'm trying to sell. It's like, oh, he's scouting straight away. And it's, that is a normal move. And also on top of that, this probe is now not at my base anymore. So make it out what you will. So another thing we can do here, just look at this. This is, this is this is a fake, but this is this is going to sell the reality here. No, Insta cancel. If he finishes this battery, I'm actually going to flame the ever living crap out of this guy. Let me tell you that much. I'm I'm actually going to find him. I'm going to flame him. And I think that will be allowed as well. People are gonna look at that and say that is a normal interaction between the Terran and a Protoss player. If he finishes this because I faked the bunker, I'm gonna be very upset. Very very upset. Honest to God. <laughs> That's just obviously not allowed. It's just obviously not allowed as well. Okay, here we go, brother. Okay. I'm just gonna right click it and hope for the best. I've lost to this build many times. Did he see that? <laughs> he saw my. I think he might have seen my SCPs actually. This is bad. I've lost to this build. And now I'm gonna win with it. Oh, this guy plays like a prick. Absolutely plays like a prick like this. Come on, clear this. It needs to be cleared. It needs to be cleared. Where's my SCVs? Hello? Good lord, stalkers are broken. Who builds an adept two stalkers against a double gas opener? That's what that's all I wanna know about. A third stalker? Oh, he recalled the Adept back home. And he has another battery in the main? What the heck? Where did this guy get his brain? This is not exactly... This is not at all how you're supposed to respond. I've never seen this before. Does he even have tech? I feel like these things work better at a higher level. Because at a higher level, people have way more optimized builds. What was this? This actually upsets me so he played stalker into a robo with two batteries actually end me i've never seen this before in my life double he should have scouted first of all if it's a marine first or a reaper first and then a battery in both bases triple units before attack like if he had full vision, he couldn't have gone come up with a better blind counter, honest to god. Yeah, and then he scouts it, that doesn't help me either, honestly. Four units before warp gate. This is actually the hardest blind counter I've seen in my entire life. Freaking buffalo slice over here with the reeds. They call him the mentalist at home. Freaking Patrick Jane. This is unbelievable. Well, we lose that game, but it was a theoretical victory. Because I would have done anything else, I would have absolutely destroyed this guy. Because his response... To a full wall was garbage. Just keep that in mind. Theoretical win for me. So it it's 1-1, one, one, but mentally 2-0. Oh. We instantly found another game, which is also good. Um, hello? There we go. Baby Marine. I mean... Is this even possible in TVT? What's the chance that he scouts? I think it's very low now. 
We need to. I think we need to change it up a little bit, though. I think we we stick with the same concept, but we execute it differently. Okay, so we're gonna get a because you can't build marines in this match. Marines are just simply not really a thing. It's it really ain't. So we're gonna get a barracks at home, maybe even double gas, and then we proxy two barracks and build more reapers with those. So it's a proxy two rex reaper, but one is at home. I really like the thought of just having a barracks at home at all times. It's just, it just smells correct, you know? Oh, I have another one against the uh, Protoss as well that we can do after this. I'm kind of excited for now. You know, all these builds are just coming back to me. Is the my, the brain works in a beautiful way, you know? It, it, it works in concepts, for me, you know? I think of like building a barracks at home and all these builds that have a... Oh crap, I need to send this across the map. And all these builds that have a barracks at home, they just start popping into my head. Like they were, like they were meant to. Okay, I'll get a barracks over here because I completely messed up my early game otherwise. This is actually a little bit pathetic. Holy crap. Wait, I'm supposed to send another one out on the map. Oh, no. Well, this has not been my most brilliant... Uh, <laughs> my most brilliant cheese so far. <laughs> Can't build this a little bit closer. And if he is proxy raxing me, there's a decent chance that I will have found the proxy rex, which is cool as well, right? Yeah, there's, there's definitely something there. But this thing is done now. I need to start a Reaper. I'm only mining with two in this gas. That is also not entirely correct. And you can go back to mining this gas. I'm going to need a, an Orbital at some point, don't I? Definitely I'm going to need an Orbital. Hello, go in here. Orbital start. Orbital start. There we go. Then we get another Depot. Do I pretend to scout or do I just not give a crap? What is this guy doing? Hello? What, what are you doing? Please stay home. Good sir. I feel like this thing is way too late as well. I'm just gonna scout around with this little SCV. I don't like how this is looking for me. Did I start a depot yet? No, I didn't. Of course I didn't. I knew it! This guy has no shame. So three Rex, three Rex Reaper. He's playing two Rex Reaper. I'm playing three Rex Reaper, but I have them in odd locations. So despite this technically being good, I think this might still end up being bad for me. No, 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 Kevin. Nice, that was good micro. Good control, Kevin the Conning. Okay, that was good. We killed one and we lost none. This is genuinely a very good trade. Maybe we can kill more now. I mean, we're, get we're having better production, right? And he has uh, low HP dudes already. But this definitely feels good. Maybe I can clear one as it pops out. Is he still gonna continue to pop them out? No way, right? Oh yeah, yes. That was a mistake, no? At least I felt like a mistake. Yeah, whatever. Just gonna move across the map with this. Just kidding. Gonna surround him. Oh, that wasn't good. That wasn't good. Where are you? That's here. This was good though. I think we're winning this. I'm telling you, this always wins. Okay, now we just go across the map with absolutely everything and we pray that he doesn't have any good units. Is he still building Reapers? I bet he is. I don't actually care though, because we're just gonna go with everything across the map. If he has nothing at home, then one Reaper plus SEVs are gonna, you know, just chase him around till the end of time. Move back. That's that. That's that. And that's that. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, did get the GG though. Ah, what a accelerating game over there. Whew. 34 points in the pocket. Look at that. We're going up by a lot. We're going to take a small break because I need some water. This is too exciting. I can feel the sweat dripping off my back. Um, but did we get the GG there? 145 out of 232. And life is good for me. All right. We're now playing against Trigger. I think he's rank 10 Grandmaster, which... I'm surprised that I managed to actually match up with this guy because he is very, very good. And well, my Terran is okay, but 
is not trigger level. But then we did immediately get to test my hypothesis whether playing against a higher level player is going to make this easier. Well, in a way, it's of course going to make it significantly harder because you know, the player is much, much better. But at the same time, I, I do tr truly believe that, that there is something there. I think perhaps playing it with three wrecks, by the way, is the uh, optimal way to go about it. So we completely cut workers here, maybe. So we get one barracks over here. And then I'm just going to build a depot in the wall. Or I can't remember if I built the third barracks first or the depot. I'll do the third barracks, actually. And then insta depot after. One, two, three. Catch your head and come with me because you look so fine and I really want to make you mine. Okay, so he's gonna try and do something about that. I could technically just build a fort barracks in my main base. Is that actually the way forward? No, I don't think it is. Is that going to pop out on the inside or on the outside? I don't even know. Bad news. Thank you very much. Good, sir. Go, go, go. Die. Oh, come on. Command center upgrade. Get back. What's going on? Oh, my God. Of course that happened. What's the chance he built a zealot? I think it's none, honestly. I think he might come in with another scout at some point, which would be hilarious. Because I have a, a, a marine looking for him, and if he were to scout... I don't know, there's just something funny about that to me. Okay, here we go. Please tell me he's not going to scan forward. I don't think he saw that. Okay, that's gone. See, what did I say about things being easier? So we got that one down. Now we're just going to go in towards the main base. I don't think he has a battery there. Oh, he forgot the micro! That's big. Does have a battery in his own name. Okay, he's coming with a surround. Definitely coming out with a surround. Come on. Oh, where are those uh, SCVs? Okay, we're killing a lot here. We really are. No, 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 no. Please, please. I'm just continuing to build stuff as well here. This was not quite ideal. Come on, kill that. Just more marines, I think, is the way here. I wonder if I can just actually play a macro game from here. He's definitely gonna kill me if I continue attacking, isn't he? I, I need to force out a super battery, that's for sure. I'm just gonna kill a lot of these workers, because I can one-shot them. He's gonna be stuck in an awkward position. Ah, uh, this isn't it. These are whole position now. I can send these back home, maybe. I think we've lost the game. I think we've actually lost the game. Maybe I can turn around here. If I can get this bunker up... If I would have been capable of getting this bunker up a little bit faster, I actually think I would have been okay. Because then I kill this, and my work account would be better. Oh my god! This was so close. There were so many things that I did wrong, and it still was... I actually think that if I if I build this bunker legit five seconds faster, look at this. I can just even just I should have just built it the moment I get there. Because that's my escape route. I'm up six workers right now. And I have mules. Oh my god. This was an actual win. I also messed up by getting surrounded in the main. Like I'm just up so far. This is insane. Get nothing. Yet one stalker. That's this one. This is all he has. If this army would have just joined me here rather than attacking the the Nexus like an idiot. 
Oh my god, I threw this so hard. Get like minus four points for that. We would have actually taken 60 points. We would have taken 60. All right, All right that's going to be it. I think the theory here is sound. We once again have shown that sometimes old builds are very good. And this build is fairly old and still very good. I should have won that last game. I'm so upset about that. I'm going to improve it a bit next time and we'll play it again. I thank all of you for watching. If you did enjoy this video, despite my painful loss in that last game, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see all of you next time for a new video. Thank you so much for watching, and bye-bye.